grand. Yeah, I mean, it could be less if I did a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo. An Indie what, what? It's this website where filmmakers get funding. Okay. And, you know, I feel weird, like, if I put it on GoFundMe, because that's for people who actually need help. Huh. I'd like to self-fund it. Well, we're putting up the dead grand. We're not, not exactly self-funding it, honey. Well, how did you and Uncle Eddie get your start? Grandpa gave us a loan. Okay. Yeah, but... Okay, that was a business. Well, think of my career as a business. Okay, fine. Ten grand. So what do we get back? Five, six? Well, we don't make anything back. Nothing? Yeah, this is just the proof of concept. For what? The script for the movie. But isn't the script already the proof of concept for the movie? No, the short is the proof of concept for the feature. Okay, how do you come by the number 10 grand anyway? Well, between rentals and crew. You'll need a gaffer. Yeah, and I'd really like to try to get one famous actor. And even if I'm following the SAG micro-budget minimums, I mean, it still really adds up. You know who I like? Diane Weiss. I don't know who that is. This is how the industry works. It's enigmatic, rigid, coded. Would Lenny like this? Well, no, he's turning four. That's a six and up. Seems counterintuitive. Why don't you just put the 10 grand towards the feature? Do you have foreplay before sex, Robert? Yes. Ew. Well, a short film is the foreplay you do before performing coitus in the film world. I get that. Okay, I, I really, I hate that analogy, Uncle Ed, but it's not wrong. Dad, try to think about this whole short film thing as a calling card. It's an opportunity for me to get my name out there on the festival circuit. You know? South by, Tribeca, TIFF, Sundance. Would he like this? Sure. Definitely. He loves garbage. Okay, then it gets into festivals, then what? Well, it gets into a festival, if we're lucky. Robert, they're highly competitive. How competitive? I don't know. I mean, they're pretty competitive. This last year, Sundance received 10,374 short film submissions. They only accepted 59 to play at the festival. 59? It's like half a percentage point. It's ridiculous. You should see the Tribeca numbers. Chloe, I love you. And I believe in you and your talents as a filmmaker, but you know, I mean, but wait, I'm... wait, wait. My chance of being one of those 59 could go way up if I were to have a high production value. That's true. Like, imagine if I wanted to shoot here in Barney Greengrass. I'd have to get insurance, permits. Uh, I'd have to, like, convince Gary. We'd have to lock down this whole space. All these people in here, I gotta replace them with extras. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, my manager said a proof of concept was the smartest thing to do before a feature, so... So have him give you the 10 grand. What? It doesn't work like that, Robert. You and I have to put up the 10 grand. It's just our manager's job to set up general meetings with production companies and streamers. Why do you know all of this? Because I follow Michael Bay on Twitter and I unpack on Instagram. Guys, I gotta be honest. Either nothing you're saying is making any sense or I'm having a stroke. Okay, one last thing. By funding it, you both would technically be EPs. So in the credits, it'll say executive produced by Robert and Eddie Cohen. So we get back end points. And uh, no, no back end points, but definitely IMDb credits. That's a good thing. Our name's all over the international movie database. The what? It's cool. You could like talk about it on dates. Thanks. So what's it about? Yeah, what's this concept you're proving? Well, it's it's a short film that's all about how fucked up and convoluted the indie film world is for emerging voices. So it's kind of like a neo gritty noir. No, not really. I mean. Mine's gonna be light on its feet. It's gonna be conversational. I wanna shoot it in the city. Hmm. It's really important to me though that it has a very strong POV, you know? Mm -hmm. Because like even at the highest level, short films are this totally obscure thing. Like, do either of you guys even know who won the Oscar last year for best short? Nobody does. They don't even televise that category anymore. Okay, see, there's my whole point. It's like, there's so many precious little short films out there. I mean, how am I gonna break out as just another gifted visionary. Shooting on a random beach at golden hour, just trying to make some breathtaking piece of garbage that has like stunning cinematography and zero narrative, but somehow cost 80K because I just had to shoot it on film with like brooding end credits that are longer than the film itself. Fuck that, I don't even wanna be an artist. I want to be a disruptor. Okay. All right. I'm running this through my head. I'm trying to understand. You want to make a short film that insults and derides the very idea of short films. Literally exactly. Then what is the feature film about? It's all about how tough it is to adapt a short into a feature. 
I don't know. I mean, you guys, nobody's even talking about this stuff. Well, I think there's a good reason for that. You know why? It's because the truth terrifies people, okay? Chloe, your uncle and I were commercial plumbers, okay? I don't even want to get involved with something like this. Yeah, strategically speaking, but also creatively speaking, you know, me neither. It's an interesting concept, though. <sighs> okay, but like, what if we could do it for seven?